Richardson line up for this game. Tried to get it up. Couldn't. Namely, Blaine Van Dort. Now back to the goal. Fjord gets flattened on the play. Detroit, Robert in the corner. Bumping with Van Dort. Now low to McSorley. Pinching in is Lewis. And he knocks the Detroit player or the Edmonton player flying. And now Edmonton start back. Messier leaving it there. And unable to center it to Kent Nielsen. Anderson with a shot. Rebound to Messier. Stefan slid out. And robs Messier on a rebound. And then Norwood trying to get into it with one of the Oilers. Now McTavish knocked off the puck. Watch Lewis go in behind the net and try and work him over. There's a punch. Another one. Put him in a headlock. Rip that helmet off. Pay a price for being back there. Now Tegan's going to come back at Lewis and give him the stick right there as you look. Tegan's a tough guy. Now to Dave Lewis. Lewis trying to clear it into center ice. McClellan got it, but a collision. By Van Helleman to play right up the middle. The puck had gone by. Lewis for elbowing. 15-15 the time. He went out of his way to take a run at Charlie Huddy. You can see the elbows up. Klima carrying back in. Here's Peter Klima. And he's knocked down by Smith with a tough check. By McTavish on the play from the slot. And then a big hit on low by Koser for Detroit. Nielsen taken out by DeLorme on the play. And now play is called. And then Adam Oates knocks down the Detroit player Nielsen after the whistle. He's got a pass ahead to Gallant. Gallant around copy, cutting in, shooting. Fjord the save, rebound. No goal. Grover thought he had scored, but immediately Andy Van Helleven signaled no goal, and the red light did not come on anyway. Fuhrer and Fuhrer made the save once again. Watch Fuhrer. He thought that he was going to use his goal stick at first and change his mind, but he kept his body staring at that puck. His, never took his eyes off it whatsoever, and Probert shot the puck into him. He's unable to get it up high. Probert's a pretty smart hockey player. Well, there's a good Detroit chance on the power play. Now back is Randy Gregg and Lee Norwood. They're going to do battle, but the Lionsmen won't let him. Bob Hodges jumped it in, jumped right in between the two quickly. And O'Connell cleared to center. Roots the line and couldn't knock it down. Chance for Detroit. Iserman fanned on the shot. Probert shoots. He scores! Bob Probert! And it ends up hitting the blade of the stick of Tikkanen, who's in front. And bang, bang, Probert deflected it in off of the Edmonton Oilers player. And this place is going crazy. Gretzky had hit the post, and then Roots and got caught at center ice in the play. And that led to the goal, and we're tied at one. Probert gets it. Lima fakes the shot, tried to work around Coffey, who took it out. And then McTavish comes into the corner to help out. He's bumped around by Ashton, but play had been called. And now Klima and Coffey were the original two, Dan. Coffey tried to mug Klima. Reg Steppen setting it up for Lee Norwood. Norwood to Bridgman. Got it out of the zone. Tipped back in by Hunter. And then Norwood gets it back into center ice. Carried back in. But McTavish gets ahead of the puck carrier Hunter. That's offside. And then McTavish gets decked by Mel Bridgman. And lost it. Here's Anderson breaking in. He's pulled out. And we'll get a penalty here against Detroit. Ooh, and we also boy. have an injured player it's Norwood, in Dan. Lee Norwood. Crashes into the net here. You'll see him on the bottom of the screen go around Stefan. And it's, <laughs> well, that goalpost doesn't move very much. He couldn't get a stick on it. Now Lewis just slides the puck underneath a fallen Edmonton player to get a stoppage, which he does. And now Gretzky and Burr take a hook at each other after play had been stopped. O'Connell slid across in front of the goal crease and deflected that pass by Gretzky as Edmonton are trying to win this hockey game. This is a very important part of the game for Detroit. They've shortened their bench. They cannot afford to lose this hockey game. This is the key time of the series right here, Dan. With them going with four defensemen, they cannot afford to play a long series. Edmonton can because of a deeper bench. Now Gretzky and Bridgman have some words. 
Three on two break. Gretzky with Crucial Niski gives it to Crucial Niski. Shot it wide and then McSorley. And Norwood ran into the net and it was knocked loose. See, Norwood's got to be careful here. McSorley's a fourth line winger on the ice and he may try to get Norwood off the ice. And Delorme's on there. He was mixing it up for a second with Crucial Niski. But those defensemen for Detroit have to be smart. They don't want to spend any time in the penalty box as they've been rotating for. Gretzky with a big pass. Crucial Niski didn't shoot the puck. Dave Hunter now down right wing. Hunter in for McTavish off his skate. Picked up a shot. They score! McSorley! And Edmonton with 36 seconds left takes the lead on a goal by McSorley. Big play. McTavish kept it in. He kicked it ahead. McSorley picked it up in the slot and put it through the legs of Greg Stefan. After the play, Probert hammered Greg McTavish. Watch Edmonton. There's where it's kept in by McTavish. And you see the Red Wings had a chance to get it out of the zone. I'm not sure who that was. I think it may have been Sean Burr right there. But he was knocked flying. And you'll see the play. Look at Probert hammer McTavish as that play ended. And Edmonton with a big, big goal for their hockey club. And it winds up with the Edmonton Oilers winning the game. Two to one. And leading the series two games to one. When we return to Detroit, the Carling O'Keefe Game Stars.